All right, guys, let's take a quick look at this Oris. This is an older model. This is called the BC3, I think, Advanced Date or something like that. So big thanks to Keith for sending this over. Oris, there's a bunch of watches that, like, you can start searching for them, but they've made so many different variations and so many different models. And, you know, sometimes they'll go away. I think that's the case with this one. I'm not sure if this is a current run or not. Uh, but they're kind of gems, and they were really affordable uh, then, and maybe still now. They don't really, like, climb up in price dramatically. So it's definitely one to look at both on the new and the used market, I guess is my point. So 42-millimeter uh, case. You can see it's a black case. It is actually DLC, so it's a very nice hard coating. So 42-millimeter case, the lug-to-lug, -lug, kind of long at 51 but uh, it's so thin at only 11.3 millimeter thick, really balances out. It like spreads that weight across the watch and just balances out really nice. 22 millimeter lug width there, comes on this really nice high quality Oris rubber strap. And it has a nice seven and a half millimeter screw down crown. 100 meter water resist, it probably can handle more, but it is 100 meter water resist on this guy. Sapphire crystal up top. Mineral crystal on the backside showing you that Oris 735 movement, otherwise known as a Salita, Salita SW220. I did throw this one on the time grapher because I need to know what it's doing for, you know, its future. And it's running plus one second. This thing, the beat error is perfect. The amplitude is high. Like, it's still a great running movement. So, um, back in the day... Uh, well, actually, I know. I think you can still get them today. The retail price was $15.75. I did a quick look on the web. Bob's watches, I've never bought from them, but I hear good things. Uh, I think they have it listed for like $8.95. So under $1,000, heck, under $900, you get yourself a unique watch. Anthracite dial. There's a ton of different colorways. This one is probably the easiest to read, but there are some cream dial ones and uh, you know stainless steel case with a black... DLC, bezel. Um, so there's different configurations for sure, but this one's good and clean. I like this one. Let's zoom in. You can take a closer look at that dial. Of course, you have your day and date down at the six o'clock position. Really helps balance out the dial, and you have like a borderline sword handset there, framed in black against the contrast of that gray. Works good, keeps it kind of like stealthish, but also. Uh, very easy to read. So if we screw this crown out, nice solid pop. I mean, it pushes your finger all the way. You can actually hear it. It's audible. You can wind it in this position. Second position, you can change the day and date. Uh, what we're going to do is pop it all the way out, and we're going to see, are we AM or PM? I want to see how quick the day date changes. Boom. Instant. Absolutely instant. I love that. That snap where it's hardly even visible. I love that. In a watch so let's pop this thing on wrist real quick and then we will do a loom shot keep this one nice and short uh, strap not the longest strap out there for you know seven and a quarter inch wrist is probably average this is going to work for me fine but you know if you have yourself like an eight inch wrist or something the strap might not be long enough for you so there it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist it's chunky, but it just works. I think the case being DLC coated black is going to help with that. But I love the contrast on the dial. It's very legible, very easy to read. So let's kill the lights, check the loom. Oris typically has decent loom on some of their field watches and dive watches. BGW9, it looks like. A little bit brighter on the handset and a little bit dimmer on the marks, the Arabics and the index there. But... Still plenty legible, and it doesn't look like it's fading anytime fast. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Maybe go Oris hunting for the older models that are gone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next vid.